Hallelujah. We are in the house of the Lord. We are in the presence of the Lord. And at this time, we are going to start by just opening in prayer. Hallelujah. Let us all stand and let us just consecrate ourselves before the Lord and pray into today's service. Amen. I believe God has, has a plan for us and the enemy also is calling conference even right now to see how he can disturb this service but in the name of Jesus we consecrate ourselves and we prepare ourselves for war. Hallelujah. Father we just bless you and we praise you this morning. We glorify your name. We lift you up. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are worthy to be thanked and praised and worshipped and adored. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you this morning. We ask that your presence be with us. Father God, let your presence be with us. Let your presence be with us. God, if you are not here with us, then our being here is in vain. So we ask that you, O oh God Almighty, will just sit in our praise this morning we understand that your word says that you are pleased to dwell in the praises of your people as we dwell in your praises as we come in your presence this morning hallelujah may we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise father let us be thankful unto you and bless your holy name this morning because you are good and your mercy endure it forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that your anointing will fall in this place. Holy Spirit, fill this room. Ah, God. Shekinah glory, sweet perfume. We need your presence this morning. We need your presence. We need your presence. We need you in this place this morning. So I pray, God, that you will fill us with your love. You'll fill us with your grace. Let your power and your anointing be upon us. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, that you cover us under your blood. We ask, God, that you cover us under your care. We ask, Father, that you lead us, oh God Almighty, in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Holy Spirit, we pray that you'll descend on us today. Sweet heavenly dove, stay with us and fill us with your love. And for every blessing, we lift our hearts in praise. Oh God Almighty, we know without a doubt that we shall be revived when we shall leave this place. God, I pray that sick will be healed in our midst today. I pray, great God, that the hunger will be fed. I pray, God Almighty, that thirsty hearts will be quenched in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that burdens be lifted in the name of Jesus. Light be shone into dark areas in the name of Jesus. As we wait on you and as we worship you, as we worship, build your throne. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your rightful place among us. Ah, we ask this and every other mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. and amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, we amen. bless your name. Amen. This morning we're going to begin by creating an atmosphere of worship by inviting the Holy Spirit to dwell with us in our midst. The first song sings, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence. Amen. So let's just invite the Holy Spirit to dwell with us because it's pointless worshipping him if he is not in our midst, amen? If it's not for him. Oh 
song sings tell me what can I do because I can't live without you who else can acknowledge that we are nothing without God that we are hopeless without God amen where would I be without God this morning what state of mind could I be in without God this morning there's people that may not know God and that could be basting with depression and may not see the hope of life they might not have a purpose they might not see that there's more to life than just just earth there's more to life than just this but with God I know that he has a plan for me a plan to prosper and not to harm me a plan and a future ahead of me amen and I know with God all things work together for my good for those that love the Lord amen so with God we have a hope and we have his word to stand on amen so what could we do without God this morning I've tried, I've tried it on my own, 
But what I found is I can't make it on my own.
actually be without God this morning. We wouldn't be able to walk without him. Amen. We wouldn't be able to talk without him. We wouldn't be able to breathe without him. There wouldn't be us without him. So let's give him the praise this morning. Our creator. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Isn't our God good this morning? Amen. Amen. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Our God is higher than any other man-made God. Amen. Our God is healer. He is awesome in power. Our God. No one can compare to the God that we serve. Amen. Amen.
God. Hallelujah. We serve a God that it doesn't matter how many is in his army. If he's, if he's one today and God is with you, nobody can stop you. Amen. Nobody can stand against. Hallelujah. That's the power of the God that we serve. Amen. It's not a God that goes by numbers. It's a God, hallelujah, that is great all by himself. Amen. He's powerful all by himself. Hallelujah. He's God all by himself. Glory to God. He don't need my praise to be God. He don't need my worship to be God. If I don't open my mouth this morning, he's still God. Because he's God anyway. He's God all by himself. Oh, glory be to the name of God. Uh, it's just a privilege to know this God. It's just a privilege to be in relationship with this God. Knowing that all the other gods, they are just the work of men. But he is the awesome God. Uh, he's the all-powerful God. There is none like him this morning. None beside this morning. None above this morning. None below, none behind, none before. He's the only true and living God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's greater and he's stronger and he's higher than any other. He's healer and he's awesome in power. Almighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus, I'm so excited this morning. I'm so excited this morning to be a part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father, we just want to bless you. We just want to praise you. We just want to exalt you for being our God. Hallelujah, you are greater. We recognize you are stronger than everything that's happening in our lives and around us. You're mightier. Oh, you're the all-time undisputed champion. Uh, no one can take your crown away. Hallelujah. You're still sitting on the throne. It doesn't matter what's happening on this, uh, this atmosphere, in this fear of the earth. You are still on the throne. You are still king of the universe. And so, Father God, we bow down and we worship you this morning. We acknowledge you as king. We acknowledge you as Lord. We acknowledge you as God of all. And so, Father God, we recognize our shortcomings before you. God, we don't want to come into your presence. Oh, God, but we ask, Father, you said that we should come boldly. If we sin, we have an advocate. Hallelujah with the Father. Thank you for the advocate this morning. We thank you for your son who is sitting at your right hand, making intercession for us. And so, Father God, as we come, we ask that you wash us. We ask that you cleanse us. We ask that you purge us. We ask in the name of Jesus that, oh God, you deliver us this morning from all our sin and all our transgression and all our iniquities this morning. Father, we thank you for forgiveness. We are here, Lord God, because your mercies are new even this morning. And great is your faithfulness. Oh God, we thank you that your steadfast love never ceases. And your mercy will never come to an end. And because of that this morning, we are in the sanctuary to give you praise. We are in the sanctuary to worship you. We are in the sanctuary to lift you up. We are in the sanctuary to exalt your holy name. God, we recognize those who, are, who would, like, would have loved to be here this morning. But because of illness, they are not here. Father God, I pray for Sister Felicia this morning, who the enemy, Lord God Almighty, want to block her praise. But I thank you, God, that she knows the power of praise. 
And even God Almighty, when she cannot shout, when she cannot sing, I know she's still in praise and worship this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus that the work that you have already started, that you will bring it to completion. We pray, God Almighty, for complete healing of the body right now. We pray, Lord God Almighty, for complete healing of that throat right now, Father, and of the ear this morning, God. We pray, God Almighty, that they will function as you have created them to function. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to you, sickness. We send you back to the pit of hell from where you come. We say, take your nasty hands of God's property this morning that she will be in the sanctuary to give you praise, to give you worship, to give you adoration, to lift up your name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever she is right now, I pray that your Holy Spirit will just come down and sit upon her in the mighty name of Jesus. May she feel healing virtue flowing through her body even right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we denounce sickness. Ah, oh, we denounce sickness. We denounce infection. We denounce, oh God, inflammation right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to her hearing even right now. May she hear clearly, Lord God Almighty. May every sound be clear to her right now as you heal her body. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for Sister Shaw this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus and Brother Shaw that you will reach out to them even right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask God Almighty that that back will come in alignment and it will function. Pain will cease in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to the hip this morning that it will function as it ought to function in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for those who have, oh God, been um, recently diagnosed. For those who the doctors have given over. The doctors can do no more this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to cancers in the name of Jesus and we say melt and go in the name of Jesus. We speak to every blood disorder in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say blood you are to function. Uh, carry oxygen around the body. We speak to respiratory problems this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We breathe. It is the air, your air, your breath that is in our lungs. And we breathe, oh God Almighty, as we ought to breathe. Breathing your freshness. Breathing your healing. Breathing your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we come against every dysfunction. Father, we pray again for Brother Justice. As he's away, Lord God Almighty, in university. Studying, we pray for Brother Nicholas as he's away. We pray for all the children that go back to school this week. We pray for your protection over them. We pray for your covering over them. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that they will be the head and not the tail. We pray, God, that they will be above and not beneath. All the young people that go back to university sometime this month, they will be just what you say that they will be. Oh, God Almighty, they will succeed in the plans. Every word that you have spoken over their life will cement their destiny. There is no failure in you so there is no failure in them they shall be the head and not the tail they will grasp oh father god every concept that the teachers will teach them god they will teach and they will tutor in the mighty name of jesus they will explain to their peers oh god you will make learning easy in the mighty name of jesus we pray for the rest of this service we pray lord god for your power we pray, God Almighty, for your anointing. We pray, God, for your Holy Spirit that is with us, that is among us. In Jesus' mighty name, give us a word, Lord God Almighty. Let the word come alive into our hearts and into our spirits. 
May your word, O oh God Almighty, be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. May your word, O oh God, bring, bring, bring healing, Lord. May your word bring deliverance. May we eat of your word and be filled. May we drink, Lord God Almighty, and be quenched. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We just want to thank God for another day. A new month. Hallelujah. I remember last year when COVID came in, everybody was wondering, Lord, I wonder what the rest of the year would look like. When 2021 came in, we wonder what the year looked like. It didn't look any different to me. Because God was still God. Amen. I, I, just, I just anticipate that this year is going to be one of the greatest years of my life. Amen. I have that confidence. I still have a little over four, little under four months to go. I'm still, it, it has been good so far. Amen. But I'm expecting it to be even greater. Let me just welcome you all who are in the house this morning. I thank God for you. Amen. I thank God for you. I thank God, Sister Sandra, Brother Joseph, and family. God bless you for being here. The worship team, the musicians. I think, um, is it just one technician here today? Uh, and that is James, yes? James, God bless you. Uh, brother, brother Justice is not here, but he's on Zoom. God bless you and welcome, Brother Justice. You are still worshiping with us. There are those who worship on YouTube. I can't always see who you are, but you know yourselves. God bless you for worshiping with us this morning. God bless you, um, Sister Juliana. God bless you, Sister Charlene and Brother Stephen for being with us. People from afar, God bless you. I see you and I know you. <laughs> Hold thy peace until I see you. <laughs> God bless you for choosing to worship with us this morning. We trust that you will be challenged and blessed. Amen. Just for being here. Amen. All those who are on Zoom this morning, Antoinette, Beverly Buck, Dorothea, Reverend Dorothea Walcott, Brother Edward Richards, Sister Grace Richards, Sister Irene Richards, Sister Jackie Francis, Jacody, Janet C., Justi Brother Justice, Sister Lily, Paul, Lisa, God bless you, Maureen, Pauline, Maurice, Shirley, Yuli, and Winsome Blackmore. The rest, your names are not there, but you know yourself. You are welcome as usual. God bless you for choosing to worship with us. We really do appreciate you for choosing to worship with us this morning. Amen? Amen. This evening will be the well ministry. Um, we, I don't know, I was saying I felt a bit as if I'm being disobedient, but the Lord has placed it on my heart since Thursday to have communion this evening. So this evening will be communion service in the well ministry. So come prepare to sit at the Lord's table. Amen? Amen. So first I'm going to do it, but the Lord just laid it on my heart and he's going to do great things among us. Um, we, resume, we resume our Bible studies next week, Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. But this evening... We uh, will be open at 6 to start at 6.15 for the well ministry. God bless you. We will, when I send out the next rotor, we try to go back to the old way of doing things. I won't moderate every Sunday morning. Amen? So all those who don't like moderating, I'm just telling you from now, um, the moderating rotor will be coming back around. All right? <laughs> so start to pray. <laughs> just start to pray. Because, you know, you, you get a good year's break. 
So, you know, just trust God that we go forward. Amen? Amen. I have a word from the Lord this morning. And it's taken from Psalm... It's taken from Psalm 29. Psalm 29. Hallelujah. Give unto the Lord, holy mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the, voice, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian, like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds of calf, and discovereth the forest, and in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen. Hallelujah. His voice makes the difference. When he speaks, he relieves my troubled mind. It's the only voice I hear that makes the difference. And I follow one day at a time. Oh, his voice makes the difference. troubled mind it's the only voice i hear that makes the difference and i follow one day at a time oh say his voice makes the difference when he speaks he relieves my troubled mind it's the only voice I hear that makes the difference And I follow one day at a time Oh yes, his voice makes the difference When he speaks, he relieves my troubled mind It's the only voice I hear Oh, 
Jesus. His voice is going to make the difference in your situation today. His voice is going to make the difference in all the storm that is happening around you. His voice is going to make the difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We live in a time with great technology. And we have an ad an advancement in the field of communication. So many different people want to make their voices heard. Right now, certain people voice, certain people don't want to hear. Hallelujah. It means of communication is so vast now, we no longer have to buy phone cards. <laughs> To call the, you know, I don't even know what the banana card, I don't remember what the banana card look like. When we need cheap phone call to Jamaica, we have to buy a five phone card. We have WhatsApp now, isn't it? We have Messenger now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We no longer have to buy phone cards. We, as we have WhatsApp and we have Messenger and other forms of technology, we can now talk for free. And that get us in trouble. When we used to have to pay to talk, we get to the point and get off. But now we can talk for free. Ah, and now you talk about, that's what I call free speech. <laughs> that's the only free speech that we really have. Because we can call somebody for free. It's not really free. Because we are paying for the data. Some way, somehow. Amen. But we have free speech. In time gone, we used to pay dearly to talk. Some people have a very distinct voice. Some people have an annoying voice. Can I say that? <laughs> Some people's voice just annoy you. <laughs> well, annoy me. Let me not talk for you. You know? And, and my voice may annoy some people. And sometimes, if you don't really like me, as soon as you hear my voice, you get annoyed. <laughs> Amen. Because people know you by your voice. 
people know uh, people you I'm always told these days you sound like your mother my mother had a very distinct voice I have my very I have her very habits and the way she coughs and the way she talks the way she sniggles in between when she's gonna say something and she think it's funny she giggle a bit first then she says it seriously and and I'm told that I'm just like my mom that distinct voice um, some, you can know people's voice by the pitch. You can know by the texture or the tone. Uh, raspy or hoarse. Or some people's voice have a certain accent. You know the put on accent from the genuine accent. Uh, and I tell people when you hear me talk with a bit of accent, is it catch me? I don't catch accent. I'm a born Jamaican. And I don't try to be anything else. Uh, uh, so anytime you hear anything comes out that don't sound really Jamaican, that catch me after being here 24 years. Amen. So people can tell, some, I can hear some of us Pentecostals. Um, if we get a word, we speak the word in King James Version. Uh, Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Uh, in King James Version, we hardly get a word in the New English <laughs> Version or in the, you know. So we still speak with certain accents and we still speak a certain way. How do we know when it is God speaking? Tell me something about the sound of God's voice. Uh, so, so when the Lord speaks to you, how are you sure that it is God speaking? Huh. When the Lord speaks to me, sometimes I have to wonder, who is that speaking? Because the Lord doesn't speak the same way every time. Amen? But sometimes it is the word that is spoken to me, allow me to confirm that it is God. Because what he says to me at that time I would not have thought it. I was thinking on another spectrum. So when he speaks, and I, when I listen to what is said, the instruction that is given, I said, the devil will no way tell me that. Amen. So I, I learned to know the voice of the Lord by what is said. We are living in a serious time that many voices are out there. Amen. Amen. And God wants to tell the church this morning that you need to learn to discern his voice. Amen. It is only his voice that is going to make the difference. So we are in deep trouble if we do not know the voice of the Lord. And many people want to, to impress and, and, and tell everybody that they hear from God more than anybody and they want to behave as they, if they are the only representative of God that walks on the face of this earth. And sometimes they get up within themselves and they tell you what they feel. And we know and we hear many prophecies that goes about this COVID. Ah, some people say it will be finished in three months. Some people say that when the heat comes, COVID will go. And everybody, and I'm telling you, I'm yet to hear of, of some of these faith healers going into a hospital praying for somebody with COVID. And they get healing. No, I'm telling you, I, I, this, I think COVID is a time that is just exposing the church and allowing the church to know that we need to know the voice of the Lord for ourselves as individuals. Amen. Amen. Because pastor is not always going to be there. Double OG is not always going to be there. MOG is not always going to be there. Woman of God or man of God is not always going to be around you. When you are in some situation, you have got to know the voice of the Lord for yourself. Amen. I remember... Uh, some time ago, it could be, it's, it's over, I'm living here 14 years now. Is it 14 or 15? 14, about. About 14 years now. So this was from, I was in London. Um, somebody was inviting their mother up to come to a convention, national convention for the NTA church. 
And the mother said when she went to the high commission the morning, and she sat down, she hear a voice come to her clear, clear, and said, you're going to get through. Don't worry, you're going to get through today. And she went in with confidence, believing it was the voice of the Lord, and she was going to get through. She was turned down. So when she called the daughter and was telling her how the interview went and the very questions that they ask. And she said, you know, when I sat out there before I went in, I hear the voice of the Lord. I hear a voice said to me, clear, clear. You're going to get through. So after they were there talking on the phone, she came back and she said, then she called the daughter by name and said, it's whose voice I did hear. <laughs> it's who for voice I did hear. You see, because she was sure she heard a voice. My God, but I said to her, well, I don't know whose voice you heard. One thing I know, that was not the voice of the Lord. Amen. And sometimes we are in certain situations. Somebody, I, I was talking to somebody who was talking to this young man and she was sure that the Lord had said that this young man was going to be her husband. Then I was young and didn't know how to be sure when somebody is going to be your husband. So I said to her, how do you know that this person is going to be your husband? And the person said to me, oh, I heard it one day I was traveling on a bus. We were traveling on a bus together. And it was so clear I have to turn to him and say, did you hear that? I was like, my God, <laughs> I hope I can get my husband like that. When the voice of the Lord is so clear, then you think everybody in the bus must have heard when the Lord said, this is your husband. And I came up here, and about a year or two, she called me and told me she was getting married. I said, oh, you're finally getting married. But it was not to the young man that she heard. That was her husband. So I said, well, you told me that you heard clear, clear that this young man was your husband. She said, true. When you want to hear, when you want to hear something, you will hear anything. And that's what I'm just, I'm, I just say this to make a point today. When we are in certain situation and there are certain things that you want God to say to you in the situation for you to feel better about the situation and for God don't speak like that. Amen. I don't want any of us to leave hearing what we want to hear. Sometimes we have got to hear the opposite of what you would like to hear. And it is still God speaking. And sometimes that's a time when you are sure that God must have spoken. Because nothing that he has spoken will, will, will go to the ground. It will come to pass. Amen. Amen. So we, we, we want to hear the voice of the Lord in this time. Every but other voice will decrease at the voice of the Lord. All the voices around you will go faint when God speaks because that's what you're going to carry out. The voice that you're going to obey. Uh, when God speaks, every other voice must go faint. Amen. Amen. When my sheep knows my voice uh, but how many of us really know the voice of the lord my god if god was to judge us by what we hear at times if god was to judge us when he speaks and the enemy speaks because i know that the enemy is able to imitate my god the enemy is able to imitate anything that God does ah, because you, I can tell you when, when the, the, the Moses went before Pharaoh and he threw his rod down the enemy threw his rod down as well Moses rod became snake and the enemy's rod became snake my God but Moses rod swallowed up the, the snake of the enemy and that tells you whose rod was from God I'm telling you, the enemy is out there now imitating the voice of God. And I want the church to be aware today that we need to turn our antennas up. My God Almighty, we need to get in contact with 
contact with God. We need to turn the, the dial a little bit more to make sure that we are picking up the right frequency. We are, we are dialing on the right station. We are on the right channel because God is going to say some stuff. But too many voices are out there imitating the voice of the Lord. But when God speaks into your situation, when God speaks in whatever is happening around us, we are going to know that his voice is going to make the difference. Hallelujah. My sheep knows my voice. Do we really know the voice of the Lord? St. John 10 verse 27. In St. John 4, 10 verse 4. <coughs> the sheep follow Christ for we know his voice. This psalm has a ver 11 verses. The psalm 29 that is. It has 11 verses. It is a psalm of praise. The word Lord appears in these 11 verses 18 times. 18 times they talk about the Lord in these 11 verses. And Yahweh is mentioned in this psalm. Because the word Lord, they use the word Lord to replace Yahweh. Because they had such reverence for the name that they were afraid to call the name. You see, some of us, we get up and we call Jesus Christ for anything. That it almost become like a swear word to the unsaved. When the Bible says we should not call his name in vain. We just call his name for anything. The Jews, they revered the name of the Lord so much that they were afraid to call Yahweh. So in, when they want to talk about Yahweh, they say, Lord. They say, the Lord. And when he talk about the Lord in the Bible, and it is God is, is talking to, it is um, block capital L-O-R-D. And it tells you that it's talking about Yahweh. Hallelujah. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. That's what verse 1 says. Give unto the Lord ye mighty. When he talk about ye mighty, he's talking about men who consider themselves mighty. It doesn't matter how mighty you feel or how mighty you think you are or how powerful you are. You ought to give unto the Lord glory. Amen. Because he's always higher than you. David um, in this psalm, he was talking to them, those who are mighty to consider himself to be mightier than them. God's glory and strength exceed their own. Spurgeon said, neither man nor angels are in the position to confer anything. That means neither man nor angels can't give anything to God. Amen. God already got it. Amen. So when we, when, when, when we are here and we are giving praise, we are only highlighting what God has already had. You understand what I'm saying? When we say we give God glory, God is already full of glory. My God Almighty. And the glory of the Lord is the weight of the Lord. Ah, the, the, the word glory means weighty. Ah, when you talk about that, when the weight of the Lord comes down the difference between the weight of the lord and the weight of the enemy when the weight of the lord comes down on you your burden become light ah god almighty but when the weight of the enemy comes down on you it sinks you into depression that's the difference between the glory of the lord and when the glory of the enemy look how many celebrities when they are on stage they shine and behind they need drugs to keep them on that high but when the glory of the Lord come down upon his children my God almighty when we walk out of here we feel as if we are stepping on air we feel like we're about to float that's the difference that the glory of the Lord brings in our life so we don't give God glory God is already glorious God we should just recognize that he's glorious we should just recognize his strength we should just recognize his power because he already have it when we say that we are magnifying the Lord you can't make God more bigger than he already is so it's in our own eyes we are seeing God bigger amen because we in our own eyes we are seeing God not big enough to take care of this problem. 
Because if you see God big enough to take care of your problem, you don't go to bed and worry. You don't worry. And some people want to take on the excuse, oh, I'm a born warrior. Worry and faith does not go together. You can't carry worry in one hand and faith in the other hand. It doesn't work. They don't come in the same sentence, my bigger sister would say. Worry and faith just don't come in the same sentence. Amen. So don't tell me that you're going to pray. I pray, you know, but I'm a born warrior. And, and a lot of times they take on this term, prayer warriors, prayer warriors. I said a lot of who out there behaving as if they're prayer warriors, they're only prayer warriors. They're praying, but they're worrying the same way. They're praying and they're doubting the same way. But you no, know, let me tell you something about this. When you are praying, you don't have, you don't have space to worry. Three times the word give is used in the two verses, the two first verses. And according to Trapp, he said this might be due to reverence of the, of the might for us to do so. Worship in humility and return and reverence. Amen. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. And you know, six times the verse mentions the voice of the Lord. He wants us to know that there are many, many, many men out there speaking and, and they are talking with authority. But there is just one authority when it comes to the church. And it is the voice of the Lord. And we as a church, we have to be careful what we are propagating out there. We see pastors out there in Jamaica getting up, walking around with placard, going, look man, preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God take care of the vaccine business. We are here not to propagate anything. We are here to talk about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here to preach the word of the Lord. We don't have any side job. Our duty is to make the word of the... What is the Lord saying now? What is the Lord saying in this, in this crisis that we are going through? Who is the Christ of the crisis that we are going through? Jamaica is in a dilemma. People are lying down on the corridors in, in, in various hospitals. They are running out of oxygen. My God Almighty. And preachers are out there with black card. Not understanding that if COVID takes these people and they are not saved, they are going to a devil's hell. Come on now, somebody. We have work to do. We need to hear what God is really saying in this day and in this time. What is really important? What is really important to us? So he said, the voice of the Lord is on the waters. Mighty men may have regards for their own power. But can their voice move upon the water hey he just showing them in genesis 1 and verse 7 genesis 1 verse 7 genesis 1 verse 7 it it speaks about the voice of the lord and it says, and Lord made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Yeah, that's the first place where God's voice speak, move upon the waters. And in verse 9, it says, and God said, let the water under the heaven be gathered together in one place. Let the dry land appear. And it was so. Amen. In verse 20, God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly and the moving creature that has life and the fowl that it may fly above the earth and upon the firmament of the heaven. God speak to the waters and the waters obey. The water, I would like to see the, which great and mighty man that is in, in, living in this time can speak to the waters. He said, come on water, go back. Dress back a little bit. He said to the ocean, come thus far and no further. I make a boundary.
hundred for you. That's the voice of the Lord. When he speaks to the ocean, the ocean, though it was coming in, they are not, they have to back up because the voice of the Lord move upon the waters. When he said to the rivers, stay within the river bed. No, oh God Almighty, the river have to go and bend like a snake. But he dare not come over when the voice of the Lord said, this is your boundary. It moves upon the waters. Ah, ah, the weightiness. And, the, and it says that the voice of the Lord and the glory of God thunder it. The voice of the Lord is like thunder. Ask the children of Israel when God went upon Mount Sinai and he was talking to Moses. All they could hear was thunder. Ah, God Almighty, the voice of the Lord is like thunder. And thunder speaks of authority. Hey, you don't, you know, some people, when you're growing up and your mother talk, I say, sit down. <laughs> but when your father says, sit down, <laughs> it, 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 it gives a different, you, you have a different reaction. When these people think that they have authority and they, they are the voices of authority around here. I'm telling you something. They don't know authority yet. When God speaks, it is like thunder. Thunder roars over the voice of great and mighty men. So is the authority of God over man. Exodus 9 verse 28. Job 19 verse 16. Job 37 3 to 4. In Job 40, God asks Job, who can thunder with the voice of his Ah, when, when God said to Job, listen man, let men talk, let men say anything they want to say. Tell me which one of them can thunder. Ah, God Almighty, any man want to get up in authority, one thunder of the Lord will cause them to shake. Because the voice of the Lord, it demands, it demands attention. The voice of the Lord demands you to react. The voice of the Lord demands you to respond. So I said to Job, when Job, you know he was a good and righteous man, but situation get a better of him. And he started to behave a little bit out of line. <coughs> God pulled him back in line. And he said, who tell the sun where to stand up in the morning? <laughs> ah, who said to the ocean, you can only come this far? Who, who tell the moon? Where to go when the sun comes out? Who tells the sun how to go and let the moon come and shine? Only one God, the voice of the Lord. Ah, he said it from creation and it stays in place. In the firmament, he said, let there be light. In the firmament, the greater light to rule by day and the lesser light to rule by night. That's the voice of the Lord. When he speaks, everything obey. When the voice of the Lord speaks, man have to give authority to the most high God. Ah, his voice in a thunderstorm, it tells us, scientists tells us that when they calculate um, the power in a little thunderstorm, because other storms are greater than thunderstorms. So in a thunderstorm, it is one million, ten million kilowatt of energy. In one bolt of thunder. It is equivalent. I'm looking around and I see two army, army men with us. Or former army men. It is equivalent to 20 kiloton nuclear warheads just one bolt of thunder so who won't get up on war with god <laughs> who want to get up uh, tell any british army any american army as bad as american armies they have to run out of afghanistan a few weeks ago but let afghanistan stand up when the voice of the lord roar over that country Hey, um, so when you look, it, 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 we talk about the voice of the Lord in verse, in verse number two. 
It talks about it's powerful. Verse number four. And the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. It is impressive. It, is, it has stateliness. The voice of the Lord has royal power. It causes admiration. It causes respect. The voice of the Lord is sovereign. It's power and authority or with dignity. We're talking about the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. His voice will make the difference. In verse 5, he says, The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedar of Lebanon. Ah, let me tell you something about the cedar. The cedar is noted as one of the strongest wood. They say that the cedar, the cedar tree can live for a thousand years. A thousand years. When they were making the, the, the temple, they built it from cedar wood. They sent to Lebanon for the best cedar round town, round the region. Lebanon had the best cedar. But let me tell you something about the voice of the Lord. With as great and mighty as the cedars of Lebanon is. He said, yeah, it breaketh the cedar. Some translation said it makes a splinter. When the voice of the Lord talk to the great cedar tree, it splinters. You know what it splinters? It make it into some very fine threadings. Ah, I've seen we're lightning back home. We're lightning. I think we lived in a lightning track. When lightning come and we have this guangu tree, and when the lightning struck the guangu tree, the bark was seen half a mile away from where that tree was when the lightning pick up the bark of the tree and it rip the tree in two i've seen when the lightning come through coconut tree caught fire my god almighty when the voice of the lord it says the voice of the lord it divides fire flames of fire that's how great and mighty the voice of the lord is it splinters up the cedars of lebanon Ah, and it divides the flame of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. That's how powerful the voice of the Lord is. But Lord God, let me tell you something about the voice of the Lord. It doesn't always come like that. We go to 1 Kings chapter 19 from 11 to 13. When Elijah was feeling down, when Elijah was going into depression, the man had the mantle around him and he was still going into depression. That's why I know the mantle alone did not have the power. Ah, God Almighty. Because he had the mantle. Ah, and he was depressed. He was running from Jezebel. He was hiding in a cave. And the Lord said, come out, come out, Elijah, and face me. Eh, and he says, ah, the wind, there was a great and mighty wind. And it broke the rocks into pieces. It teared the rocks apart. But the voice of the Lord, God was not in it. Ah, God. Ah, God is able to break the rocks. The voice of the Lord is able to break the rocks. But this time, God was not in it. Ah, there was an earthquake. But this time, God was not in it. There was a fire. But this time, God was not in it. We need to know the voice of the Lord. As depressed as Elijah was. My God. As depressed as the prophet was that he was in hiding. He knew God's voice. Ah, God Almighty. So when they want to get up and shake as other times. When Samson got up and shook like other times. But the power of God was not upon him. Ah, God Almighty. Many of us want to be talking and preaching as all the other times. But God is not talking to us right now. And we don't want to seem as if we're losing our glory. Yes, because man must decrease. Ah, God increase. God went silent on Israel for over 400 years. He talked to many great prophets. But nobody could hear God talking for over 
400 years. And I think God is preparing the church. He wants us to know his voice because he's going to speak. God is going to speak and he's going to speak soon. But the church is not ready for what God is going to say. And he's telling us, I've heard prophets come out and prophesy. And then they come out and they re-prophesy. And they come out and re-prophesy again. Because God was not saying anything. When God goes silent, church, let the church be silent. My God Almighty. Because if you open your mouth, you are going to cause trouble. You're going to cause division. You're going to cause frustration. You're going to cause confusion. Let the church be silent until God speaks. Because he's showing up the false prophets now. He's showing up the false prophets. But I've said it here already. And the Lord just don't drop it in my spirit. He's going to raise up a set of people to speak. And if the church is not careful, we are going to miss what God is really saying. So I want us to open our ears that we can hear the voice of the Lord. He said that he was not in the wind that broke the rocks into pieces. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was in the still, small voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you doing? And the voice only asked, what are you doing here, Elijah? How you find yourself here? Ah, God, you're a mighty man who have anointed. You pray fire that falls upon on Mount where were they? On the mountain top. When there was here, when, when, when he challenged the, the prophets of Baal, it was the same Elijah who said, Throw water in, and the God that answered by fire. And this time fire came, and Elijah knew that God was not in this fire. God who answered by fire a few days ago was not in the fire that Elijah was seeing. It is very important that we know and we are able to discern that when the enemy come and imitate God, we can know that God is not in that. No, that was not God speaking. Simon Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Ah, uh -huh. and Jesus said to him, Flesh and blood had not revealed that to you, Simon. But few verses down the line, when Simon opened his mouth, ah, the same mouth that God used to declare who Jesus was, Jesus had to say, Get thee behind me, Satan. You have to be able to discern when God speaks. Not because this person is known as a man of God. Not because this person is known as a prophet. You have to know when God is really speaking. And that's the problem that the church is finding themselves in now. The church is finding themselves where they are believing the words of man more than the word of God. They are not able to discern the voice of the Lord. And the Lord wants us to be able to discern the voice of the Lord. Too many voices are out there. If we are always speaking on God's behalf, God's, if we are always God's mouthpiece, we have to be careful what we say. Sometimes we think that it is from God because of who speak it. We need to hear the voice of the Lord clearly. The voice of the Lord brings clarity. The voice of the Lord does not bring confusion. The voice of the Lord brings peace in the troubled situation. The voice of the Lord brings direction when you're not sure where to go. The voice of the Lord brings healing in the areas that you are sick. The voice of the Lord lifts you up wherever you are down. The voice of the Lord brings light into your dark situation. The voice of the Lord gives peace unto every troubled mind. When God speaks, we should know. Train your ears, church. To hear God's voice. The voice of the Lord. As a church we are in serious trouble. Because we don't know the voice of the Lord. Hey, we run at every sound that we hear. We believe 
because it's me. The pastor said, I tell you that. When you hear me quote a scripture, don't quote it unless you see it for yourself. Yes, we need to search the scripture for ourselves. I preach about the voice of the Lord today. Go and look about the voice of the Lord for yourself. Amen. I'm not saying that I cannot be trusted. But I'm saying that we are responsible for what we receive in our spirits. Amen. We need to discern the voice of the Lord. Let me tell you something, church. When God speaks, he relieves the troubled mind. God is going to speak through COVID. God is going to speak in this country. God is going to speak in America. God is going to speak in Ghana. God is going to go through Africa. God is going to speak, but he's silencing some voice around us. People are starting not to believe when they open their mouth. People are being discredited as prophets now because they have prophesied so many lies now. When God speaks ah, and it is going to come to pass as he says it, I'm going to tell you something church. Get your ears to align. Let us start to pray that we can hear the voice of the Lord. Because if we don't know the voice of the Lord in this time, in this season, we are going to be led astray. We are going to be led astray. We are going to lose our way. My God Almighty. But uh, I know, I know that uh, there are elect among us. The Bible said that if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Ah, God Almighty. Ah, Lord of mercy. Those who are the very elect is going to be evident. Because you will not be deceived. You will, not, you will know the voice of the Lord. He said that don't worry, don't fret church. You don't have to worry whether you're going to follow the wrong person or not. Once you are the elect, you cannot be deceived. The Bible said if it was possible, you will deceive the very elect. So I am happy that is not possible. I'm not being deceived by any false prophets. I look to this. I look to the word of God for my answer because God has already spoken. When God speaks now, it only brings clarity or understanding to individuals from what is already spoken. Because Paul said, if an angel or myself come and preach to you another gospel, let him be a curse. That means the gospel is already preached. And when we preach, we must preach the word of God. Nothing else, nothing more. Some of us come and we come with some powerful uh, motivational speaking. I'm not into the motivational speaking. Ah, Come on now, if you're a child of God and you are depressed, I say, come on now. Get up from under your juniper tree. Ah, God Almighty, and do the work that God sent you to do. I'm not here as a motivational speaker. I'm here to speak the word of the Lord. Because this is the voice of the Lord in this time and in this season. And we ought to know when it is the word of the Lord from when it is not the word of the Lord. People can preach a beautiful sermon, lovely sermon. Get people crying. And not a word of scripture in it. It is possible. People can come up here and sing and sing and sing. And not one word ascribe anything to God. Yet we get in the mood and we get in the spirit. Ah, and I can see when, you know, when, when the, 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 the song that they used to sing from a distance. And we used to sing it in church. Because it said God is watching us. God is not watching us from a distance. And he's saying what the song is really saying. It is written by some, um, I think, devil worshippers or something. That's saying that from a distance. If God is there watching from a distance, everything looks in harmony. He said from a distance there is harmony. We are all marching in a common band. The voice of hope, the voice of peace. But there is war. That's what it said. It's a sarcastic song. And we were tearing it out in church. God is watching us. God is watching us. 
God is watching us from a distance. God is, and then we, we sing, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord. To the cross where thou hast died. You see, we need to know the voice of the Lord. Because that's how the enemy infiltrate the church. And if we don't know the voice of the Lord, we cry for anything. We see people sing this song and cry. God is watching us from a distance. There's an all-seeing eye that is very present. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God is always close to you. He is not whenever you go. He said, when you go through your waters, I will be with you. When you go through the flood, when you go through the fire, I am with you. I'm not watching you from a distance. And somebody says that when they look back on the sand of time and they see only one set of footprints and they realize that it was a time when they were going through their darkest hour and they said, Lord, how, how is it that you left me when I was going through my darkest hour? He said, that was when I carried you. Uh, so that one set of footprint was not yours. It was the Lord carrying you. God is not watching us from a distance. Right now, church, is the Lord that is carrying us. Uh, he's carrying us day by day. The time is so hard. The pressure is on us. But God is carrying the church because the church triumphant is alive and well. The voice of the Lord makes the difference. When he speaks, he relieves my troubled mind. I want us to be aware that God is going to speak. He's even starting to speak now. Amen. And let us not get too busy that we miss him when he speaks. And the sound that you may be expecting to hear or who you may be expecting to hear it from. It might not be where it's coming from. But we need to be aware when God speaks. He said, my sheep know my voice. When God speaks, we as the elect should know when he speaks. And that's the word that the Lord lay on my heart. His voice is going to make the difference in this situation. Hallelujah. His voice makes the difference when he speaks he relieve my troubled mind it's the only voice i hear that makes the difference and i follow one day at a time oh yes his voice makes the difference when he speaks he relieves my troubled mind oh it's the only voice i know that makes a difference oh and i follow one day at a time oh yes his voice makes a difference when he speaks he relieves my troubled mind oh it's the only voice i hear that makes the difference and i follow one day at a time oh yes his voice yes his voice Only voice I hear 
that makes the difference and I'll follow one day at a time oh yes his voice yes his voice makes the difference when he speaks he relieves my troubled mind oh it's the only voice I hear that Yes, I see that hand raised, Georgette. I see that hand raised. Hallelujah. You want to hear God's voice in a situation. And his voice is going to make a difference. Ha! Ah! Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to hear your voice. Father, you say, my sheep know my voice. And it tells us, God, that in the last days, many will come in your name. They will heal in my name. They will deliver. They will prophesy in my name. That if it was possible, it will deceive the very elect. Father God, I pray that you will allow us, O oh God, to connect. Let our antennas, let the aerial, Father God, be picking up on the right frequency. Lord God, help us to be tuned into the right station. Let us be on the right dial so that we'll be hearing the right message. God, we are living in a time that is troublesome. We are living... In a time, God, that um, people don't know what to do. They are seeking you. Oh, God, they, they want to hear your voice. I uh, see Paula Lisa and I see uh, Georgette on Zoom. Two have raised their hands. They want to hear you speaking clearly in situations in their lives. Your voice is going to make the difference. God, speak and Allow them to be willing, Father, to obey when their voice comes clearly. There are others here in the sanctuary who want to hear. God, just as when you went and Samuel heard your voice and did not know who was speaking, he was advised. Oh, God Almighty, by 
he was advised by, by Eli to say, when he say it again, say, speak, Lord, thy servant heareth. God Almighty, make them, make us able to hear when you call. God Almighty, make us able to hear when you speak into the situation. It might not come from who we expect. It might not come, Lord God Almighty, as what we expected it to be. But God allow us to be able to discern. Oh God, as Myrtle, God, as she too has raised her hands. Help her to discern your voice in this time, Lord God Almighty, of chaos. When many voices are speaking, when many want to be heard, when many want to drown out God Almighty, we are aware that your voice can thunder. We are aware that your voice is powerful. We are aware that your voice is majestic. We are aware, Lord God, that it break the cedar of Lebanon. We are aware, God Almighty, that your voice, oh God Almighty, is powerful. But God, sometimes you speak in that still small voice. You were not in the earthquake. You were not in the fire. You were not in the whirlwind. You were in the still small voice. And it's only a spirit of discernment. God, heighten our discernment. Cause us to know when you speak. Cause us to be swift to answer. Cause us to want to obey. Speak, Lord, into troubled situation. Speak, Lord, into needy situation. Speak, Lord, into tiresome situation. Speak, Lord, into some sicky situation. Speak, Lord. Your church want to hear you. Your church want to hear you. And only you, Lord. And we promise that we will obey. Speak, God, into the lives of sinners. Speak, Lord. Your voice, God. Your voice. Your voice. Your voice. Cause us to hear your voice. Cause us to hear your voice. Only your voice, Lord. Only your voice, Jesus. That's going to make the difference in our lives and in our hearts. Hear us, Lord, we pray. Have your own way. Farnborough need to hear from you. Farnborough need your voice. We want to know what direction. Your voice give direction. Your voice give commands. Your voice, oh God, tell us where to go. Lord God, we dare not move unless we hear your voice. Speak God into individuals' lives. Speak into marriages. Speak into relationship. Speak, God, into situations at work. Speak, Lord, into finances. Speak, God, into ministries. In the name of Jesus. Lord, your voices will make the difference. Your voice will make the difference. Speak into our lives. Speak, my Lord. Speak and I'll be quick to answer you. Speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak and I will answer. Lord, send me. Send me. Send me to the nations. Send me, Lord God. Send me to the sick and dying. Send me, Lord. Oh, here am I, Lord. Send us, God. Lord God, we want to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice. Send us, Lord. Where you lead, we will follow. Where you send, we will go. Speak, Lord. Speak, 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 Lord. Be clear in your speaking, Lord. Ah, God, as we listen to you this morning. The voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord. Speak to the people today. Speak to the hearts of your children. Speak to the minds. Turn some minds around. Turn situations around. Change some mindsets, Lord. Oh God, oh God, that which 
they were going to do that which they were about to do. Oh God Almighty, oh God Almighty. Oh God, speak, speak, Lord, and turn it around. Change minds, change decisions. Change, Lord, change, 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 change. Oh God, change. Only what you can change. Speak, Lord, to your people. Speak, Lord, to your sheep. Oh God Almighty, speak to the elect, we pray. Speak to the children. Oh God Almighty, speak to the young people. Oh, they may Speak, Lord, to the sick and dying. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Speak to your church. Speak to your church, Lord. Speak to the called out, Lord. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. And send us wherever you choose to send us. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak, Lord. Speak, Jesus. Speak, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, speak, Lord. Speak again, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, speak. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Let us hear your voice clearly today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Speak, my Lord, speak, my Lord, speak, and I'll be swift to answer thee. Speak, my Lord, speak, my Lord, speak, and I will answer, Lord, send me speak my lord speak my lord speak and i'll be swift to answer thee speak my lord speak my lord Speak and I will answer, Lord, send me. I want to pray with somebody today. Hey, Baba Shende, ya Baba Sai. I don't know you. Can I just pray with you? Yes, you. Shekebe Sando Mogonsai. Rebebe koshondo robo satai. Rebeka sondo momoshai. 
Shikendo si la mama eketa baba sai. Shikindu sai. Shakende ya da baba sai. Ne 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 mamoshi. Sakriondo momo se ketai. Rain kastiri ya basete ya da bahende. Shondo do bosaya. I don't know you. But God, you are hearing God's voice right now. Oh, How long will you run? How long will you run? God has got a mark on you. And the enemy has hijacked you for years. But you will not find peace until you find God. That still small voice, God is speaking to you right now. And you know what you need to do. You can't fight any longer because this is a battle you will never win. But God has got a mark on you. You need to totally commit. Ah. Father, we recognize that we wrestle not against flesh or blood. But we wrestle against principalities. Hey, mama! Kende saturi ya mahai. Meko sunduru yobobo shiai. Against powers. Against spiritual wickedness. In high places. Shekendo si. Mama kondosai. We break every hold that the enemy have on you. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everything that will cause you not to want to surrender. We give it to God right now. We break principalities. We break powers. We break spiritual weakness, wickedness in high places. We break the powers of witchcraft. I wonder if you know you should have died a long time. You should have died before now. But God has kept his eyes on you because he has something special for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power, oh God Almighty, that the enemy has set, oh God Almighty, over this life. We break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. Set your daughter free today. Completely free. Deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. The voice of the Lord. Ah, be clear. The voice of the Lord be clear to you today. May you hear the voice of the Lord and obey. May you not fight against it. May you let yourself go freely in his hand as he speaks to you and speaks into your situations. God is going to turn it around. When he speaks, situation change. And everything in the atmosphere aligns. In Jesus' mighty name, God has spoken to you this day. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You may go back to your seat. Mama Kendo si Arabahai. Shando do 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 bosa. Oh, speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak, and I'll be quick to answer thee. Oh, speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. Speak, and I. Sir Lord, send me. Oh, speak, my Lord. Oh, speak, my.
my Lord. Speak and I'll be swift to answer thee. Oh, speak my Lord. Speak my Lord. Speak and I will answer, Lord. Send me. Hallelujah. May the voice of the Lord be clear to you today. Hallelujah. May the voice of the Lord, may you know the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. It's now time to give. The Bible says that if we, when we give, when we bring our tithes and our offering, we should prove the Lord. If he will not open the storehouse and pour us out a blessing that we will not be able to withhold. Can I just ask, I just feel like asking before I go, did anybody have a word? Anybody get a word for the church or the word you were getting were for you personal? Okay. God bless you. Over to the worship team. Amen. It's time to worship in giving. Um, if you want to give and you're in a sanctuary, there should be envelopes at the back of the chairs you can sign and just place in one of the blue baskets in front. And if you are online, uh, the details should be in the screen. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Jesus. I will call 
you will bless it and sanctify it. May Lord God Almighty be used in your kingdom to win souls, to feed the needy, oh God Almighty, to meet needs in our community. Lord God, may we be good stewards of that which you have given to us. And Father God, may we increase through this seed that has been sown. And Father God, we know that your word tells us that it's more blessed to give than to receive. But Father, we ask this one thing, those who have given today, may they receive not just financial blessing, Father, but may they receive spiritual blessings. May they receive favor. May they receive, O oh God Almighty, great things that they didn't even expect from your hands. These and every other mercies we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the peace of the Lord pursue you. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you. May you be blessed in everything you do. May you be blessed. Everything that you put your hand to is already blessed. May you be blessed, oh God. Um, you, you, let, you bless your children, Father, when they go out, when they come in when they sit down, when they get up, when they lie down, when they eat, when they sleep. Father God, in everything, I pray God that there is a blessing over your children. May the enemies call them blessed. May the enemies see the uncommon blessing and the uncommon favor over their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. See you next week, same time. Walk good, talk good, live good. Until we see you. See you this evening at 6.15. We open at 6 to start 6.15 at the well ministry. God bless. We will be sitting at the master's table. Those who are unable to join us in person, have your emblems ready at home to partake. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>